Hi everyone, welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing my very first Victoria's Secret perfume haul for you guys. I did pick up six perfumes, four are from Victoria's Secret and two are from Pink. Um, I did get them all during the semi-annual so sale. I have no idea if they're still on sale or not, but if they are, I will link them all below um, in the description box. So yeah, if you guys want to see what I picked up, then just keep watching. Currently, I do not own any Victoria's Secret, any pink perfumes outside of these. I have not owned any Victoria's Secret perfumes in years. I do have a couple body sprays and a couple lotions from them. But other than that, I don't really go to them for perfumes. But I have been seeing some people do like perfume collections and reviews on different perfumes and some of them included Victoria's Secret perfumes. So I was like, since it's a sale, why not pick some up? So we're gonna start with the two from Pink. So this is newer, this is a newer collection to Pink, if I'm not mistaken, they didn't have like perfumes before. They've always had body sprays and lotions, but now they have a little line of perfumes. And I wanna say it is about five perfumes in their little line, and it's called the Pink For All line, which looks like this. These, if I'm not mistaken, regular retail price for these are $25. They are all 1.5 fluid ounces. Um, so I picked up two, the two that to me sounded like scents that I would like. I did get them on sale for $20, plus I had like coupons and stuff, so I brought it down a little bit more, but yeah. So this first one is Compassion, and this one is Strawberry Cream, Fresh Coconut, Tahitian Vanilla Musk, with upcycled cedarwood oil. So I seen strawberry cream in there and I just felt like it would be for me. So this is the bottle. It's very, very cute. I love it. It's very cute. Um, so yeah, let me spray it. I have worn some of these to kind of test them out a little bit to let you know if I like them and the longevity. Um, so yeah. This one, this one smells so pretty. I knew from the scent notes that I would love it just with the strawberry cream and the vanilla in it. I knew I would love it and I do. It smells really, really pretty. It's very, very creamy, very strawberry-esque. When it dries down, you definitely get that vanilla, but I love the way the strawberry smells in here. And to be honest, these pink perfumes last quite a long time on the skin, like well over, I can still smell it on my skin well over six hours. Now it's not, I don't think it's a very heavy projection, but it does last really, really well on the skin and it just smells really pretty. This one is definitely a must. If you love strawberry, if you love vanilla, you will absolutely love you this. You do get a little bit of the coconut which I like. I think the coconut, I think the coconut, strawberry, and vanilla mix really, really well together. I do not like coconut scents. So I was surprised a little bit because I was like, I was hoping it wasn't heavy on the coconut, but the strawberry, the creamy, it smells like a creamy coconut. It's a very strawberry-esque creamy coconut. Like that's the best way I can describe it. But it's very, very beautiful and I absolutely love this one. So this is definitely a keeper. The next one I have from the Pink Collection is Confidence. And it looks like this. It is Orange Blossom, Amber Woods, Warm Vanilla, and Upcycle Mandarin Oil. I knew from the scent of this, I would love it. I am obsessed with Orange Blossom. Anything vanilla and amber is a really good scent also. So I just knew I was gonna love this, right? And this is the packaging. So, I don't know, it's, it's different. It's a lot different than what I expected. This one is so pretty, it really surprised me. You do get a really strong orange blossom scent, but that amber and vanilla comes through and it sits on your skin so beautifully. And again, this one lasted a really, really long time on the skin. I absolutely love pairing this with any type of, what have I been pairing it with? Paired this with 
orange vanilla twist and it smells so good because you know that's an orangey scent with a little bit of vanilla and this and that it's beautiful so i would highly recommend these i did purchase all mine online so i don't know if it's in the store but i would highly recommend you go in and smell in this pink line again it is so inexpensive these are eau de parfum so they do last a pretty good amount of time for the price and for 25 bucks you can't beat that. I love this one so much. I thought I was gonna love the pink one over this one, but I love this one so much more, but I love them both. Moving on to the actual Victoria's Secret line. Um, now again, I have not owned any Victoria's Secret perfumes in years. First Victoria's Secret perfume I picked up is a Odie But A Goodie. This is the only one out of all the perfumes I had that I've ever owned before and I've smelled, but I have not smelled it in years. This is very sexy now. Now, I don't know if they have this all year round, if they brought it back for the semi-annual sale. Again, I don't buy Victoria's Secret perfumes, but I seen this and remembered it, and the bottle is so stinking cute. I got the 1.7 ounce in all of the perfumes. I didn't want the Big Daddy. This is normally $59.95. The notes in this are Tropical Guava, Mariposa flower and Sora coconut. I guess that's how it's pronounced. Um, but yeah, I just saw this bottle online. And I was like, that that looks beautiful. I really got this because I felt like one, it would be a little bit nostalgic for me, and also I want more for. I also want more perfumes with guava in it. So I got it. I have not worn this one yet. Mm, I remember it now oh it's so pretty it's such a tropical scent like this would be great to take with you on vacation to the beach to an island it's so pretty oh my god it's so pretty that guava oof, is gorgeous this is such a beautiful tropical scent I'm so 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 glad I picked this up so glad I picked this up. And again, the bottle is just so gorgeous. I love this. I love it. So I'm so happy to have gotten this back in my co my collection. And this is definitely a key. Okay, the next one I picked up is Scandalous. And it looks like this. Um, I have worn this one maybe once or twice since I got it. This is what the bottle looks like. Scent notes in this is raspberry liqueur, black peony, and praline. So I can't remember who I seen talk about this perfume, but they said how pretty it is, how creamy it is. Um, so yeah, I've worn this once or twice. That raspberry is very, very, very strong. That's immediately what you smell. I'm going to spray this on my skin because I don't have any perfume on today. Mm, it's very, very strong. That raspberry is extremely strong. Um, I'm not on the fence about, but we're going to come back to this. We're going to come back to this one. So the next one that I just tried out like last, the night before last, is Dream Angels. And the scent notes are pure jasmine amber crystals and rainbow glow so i was like this honestly when i seen the scent notes online i wasn't really enthused by it but i was like i'm gonna try it anyway the bottle though the bottle is gorgeous it's this beautiful radiant like rainbow shift it is really really pretty I feel like the lighting is not doing it any justice um so yeah I put this on night before last um I didn't use it with anything because I wasn't sure of how it was going to wear because of the notes when you first spray it you get a lot of that jasmine a lot of the jasmine is very strong to me this smells like a pretty girly perfume but the dry down is something crazy 
it gives you warm it gives you creamy it gives you sweet almost like a gourmand a little bit the dry down on this is what gets it for me i do not like the opening i don't I don't like whatever the jasmine is. I don't like it. It's too strong. It's too like perfumey. I don't really care for it. But the dry down is beautiful. Um, so I will recommend trying this in stores. If you try it in stores, spray it on your skin or on something and then let it dry down. Because the dry down is completely different than the opening. Like completely different. Uh, 360. I am on the fence of if I'm going to keep it. I'm going to wear these a couple more times and decide if i want to keep them or not so we'll come back to that and the last perfume i got is oh so sexy um this is the only one that i have not worn at all not one time haven't sprayed it on my body or anything the bottle is gorgeous and honestly for $29.99 I want to keep it just for the bottle even if it does even if it doesn't smell that good but I got this because of the scent notes it is bergamot paradise apple and whipped cream does that not sound delicious so I haven't worn this one yet I don't even know if I've sprayed this one yet but I'm gonna see Spray it and test it now. Definitely get that apple. Hmm. I want to spray on my skin. Okay. Okay. I like this. This is yummy. Oh my goodness. That is good. She's a keeper. All right, so that is it. That is everything. That is all the perfumes I picked up from this semi-annual sale. Out of six, four are definitely a keeper and two are on the chopping block. So I will definitely let you guys know in the comment section below if I kept these two. And again, that is Scandalous and Dream Angel. The rest of them I absolutely love and adore. Even this one, I've never even wore this one but it smells so good and yummy so i know that i will love that one and keep it so yeah that is it guys that is everything i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if any of you have any of these perfumes or if you try any of them and if you're gonna try any of them and what do you think so until next time <laughs>